the Democrats' latest attack of Trump crossed a huge legal line that will cause them trouble. People will go to jail for this leak. The CIA just filed a crime report that has Nancy Pelosi quivering with fear. The New York Times published a story alleging that Russian spies paid a Taliban to kill American troops stationed in Afghanistan and that President Trump had been briefed on the information but had done nothing, while the original story claimed that the intelligence community was certain of the information. Later the report showed that there was skepticism of the allegations that were reportedly obtained from captured Taliban under interrogation. The information did not rise to the level of an oral report to the president because the general consensus of the intelligence community was that more of an investigation into the matter of the Russian bounties was needed. The leak of this information to the New York Times has placed the CIA's investigations in jeopardy which is why the CIA asked the Justice Department to look into the leak. Robert O'Brien, Trump's national security adviser, revealed this to reporters while trying to explain to them the Trump administration's response. Some leaker whoever it is, and I understand that there has been a crimes report filed by the CIA with the Department of Justice, some leaker took it upon themselves in an effort to attack the president or maybe promote some policy agenda to leak allegations that now make it almost impossible to find out what happened, O'Brien said, if the information is verified, of course there will be consequences for Russia, but now it will be hard to figure out the truth, first of all, if it's true, there will be a lot of outrage, O'Brien said. But what I want to get into is on this Russia issue. There has been no administration since the end of the Cold War that has done more to push back on Russia, as our Cold War presidents did against the Soviet Union, that this president, including sending Javelin anti-tank missiles to the Ukraine, which the previous Obama-Biden refused to do. O'Brien mentioned that a CIA officer decided not to brief Trump on the information because she didn't have confidence in the intelligence. But the Democrats are looking for information to bolster their Russian collusion hoax. They know that since Trump has been tough on Russia his entire presidency the whole theory falls apart, especially since they can bring no data to back it up. This serious leak of classified information is just a cheap political shot, because somebody decided to leak this intelligence while we were trying to get to the bottom of it, that may never be possible now, and that's a shame, O'Brien said, whoever the leaker is should be really ashamed of themselves.